In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the free Galaxy Opal P. Marovic in NBA 2K23, my team. So what you guys want to do is come over to your challenges screen and you want to go to the skills challenges. Also, I'll be showing you guys his stats and badges and what this P. Marovic card does look like on 2KDB with his jump shot, his sigs and all that type of stuff. And is the card worth grinding for? So what you guys want to do is go to the Bracket Buster Challenge. And this is going to take forever to do, but you have to complete all 35 of these challenges and you will get the Galaxy Opal P. Now you probably think, okay, well, these are probably, you know, TT offline challenges maybe just you know some basic challenges like the like for the kg these are all five minute quarter games so basically you have to play 35 games of domination to get the galaxy Blue p maravich now you are getting one diamond card per every game you play so obviously it will probably it'll be worth it more to play this than the new domination because you are going to get 35 players to the collection and you are going to get some solid diamond cards as well but i feel like this is way too long of a grind but this is how you guys get the free galaxy Blue p maravich what do you guys think about this because me personally i think that's way too long of a grind for a galaxy Blue pete even though pete does look to be a really really good point guard and i really wish i could actually add him to my squad but i just don't know if me personally if i'm going to be playing 35 games of domination even though he is really really good right he's a really good point guard i'll show you guys his stats and badges here in a second on 2k db and you guys can see his jump shot I just don't know. I just don't know if that's worth it. You guys can let me know what you think about it. Are you guys going to be grinding for this Pete Maravich card? But 35 games of Dom, I, I just, I don't know, man. I really don't know if that's going to be worth it, even though Pete Maravich is really, really good. And then there's obviously going to be, oh, is there challenges as well? Okay, so you do get 1,000 XP every single challenge you do win. So you will get 35,000 XP from completing it. That adds a little bit more of an incentive. I mean, still not necessarily worth it, in my opinion, but still, I think 35,000 XP is really nice to be added on. And then obviously there will be, you know, cards coming out every single day in this option pack so for today it's make five three-pointers with a shooting guard in a game and then this goes towards like that hall of fame badge so there's still going to be these every single day but this is something completely separate for the galaxy Bull peep but now let's hop over to 2kdb and look at his stats and badges so now hopping over to 2KDB and looking at this free Galaxy Bull P Maravich card, he's going to be a point guard shooting guard, six foot five with a six foot eight wingspan. So he's not going to be some super tall point guard like a Ben Simmons or a Magic, but he's also not going to be undersized. So I feel like six foot five is a really good height for your point guard at this time of the year. And then stats wise, I mean, this P Maravich card is super well-rounded. He's obviously going to be a really good 300 with a 97 three ball, 98 mid range, has Hall of Fame agent three, amped, catch and shoot, guard up, limitless range. And then even defensively, they made him like not bad of a defender. He's got a 95 steal, 95 lateral quickness, 95 perimeter. He also does have an 80 block and an 85 interior defense. So for your point guard, can play some solid defense. He's also super quick for Pete Maravich card, having 96 speed, 96 acceleration, also having a 98 ball handle and a 96 speed ball with tons of good Hall of Fame playmaking badges like clamp breaker, dimer, handles for days, hyper drive, killer combos, quick first step, and unpluckable as well. So stats and badges wise, I mean, this card looks, looks to be a really nice point guard but then it gets even better when you go to the jump shot he's got the ray allen base which is still one of my favorite bases in the game and that's going to be on very quick timing and then they also gave him some elite dribble sigs with the zach levine size up one of the more underrated size ups in the game he's got the trey young escape which i feel like is easily the best escape and then he's also got like the tray behind the back the trey young leaner and the quick drops off one so for a point guard he will definitely be somewhere in that top five conversation i think he'll probably be a top five point guard in my opinion but he'll definitely be close with guys like oscar wade and Russ kind of in that top five to seven point guard range, maybe even a little bit higher because he's going to be a very fun card to use. But is it going to be worth grinding for 35 domination games? I would just say no. I think the short answer is no. If you really want P. Maravich and you want 35,000 XP, and you do get those 35 cards, 35 diamond cards, which some of them are decent to add to your collection. I mean, that is definitely, you know, I guess somewhat rewarding 35 cards, 35,000 XP for a Galaxy Bull Pete. I mean, it, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it personally. Like that's going to take over 18 hours to get, I do believe. I just don't see it being worth it. But let me know in the comment section down below. Are you guys going to be grinding for this Galaxy Bull Pete card? And just let me know what you guys think about him. Do you guys think he's a top five point guard? And just overall, let me know what you guys think about this new, I guess, sort of spotlight grind. But hopefully you guys did enjoy and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.